Thank you, Bart. Very, very honored. I'm very honored because, uh, you know, Pat Power is named off a lot of names. There's a lot of uh, pioneers for this sport that I'm basically the second generation that was able to uh, grow up here in Southern California in Laguna Beach and be able to live a dream because of all Karch and these pioneers that were able to create the sport of volleyball for all of us. Um, my journey started as a, as a basketball player at Laguna. Um, I remember, you know, my freshman year, I couldn't play volleyball. And I went down to the beach, and they're picking teams for four-man beach volleyball. And I figured, hey, I'd be one of the eight, you know, to be on this team, and no one picked me. And that was kind of the emphasis to, I need to go practice this game. And so I started, you know, passing the ball against the backboard and said, this is a good game. But um, there's a lot of things to, to people that help my journey. And one, one first one was my uh, high school coach, Bill Ashton, um, taught me visualization. Um, very important, I used it on the Olympic team, I used it in college. Visualizing being you know, the best platform out there, what you need to do. Um, and Bill also had everyone play all the skills. Was pass. I was a middle blocker. He had me pass. He had me play defense. I think it's very important. Every volleyball player learns all the skills the best they can. Uh, I thank Alex Gates as a great coach. I never got to play for him. But um, unfortunately, I went to Stanford, but he drove me because he told me, hey, you'll never win a national championship. <laughs> <laughs> that drove me for four years until 89, and I did lose to him in the national championship. But uh, thank you, Al. <laughs> Uh, my coaches at Stanford, Fred Stern, Don Shaw, taught me a lot about the statistics, about the video, about the whole game, what you needed to learn to be a successful player. Um, great coach, Olympics, Mark Dunphy, uh, taught me about the international game. More importantly, Marv was able to put together a team. You know, they say the 88 Olympic team was one of the greatest teams ever. Lots of talent, but how he was able to, you know, make that talent work together and be so successful is really important. Um, and you know, I've always wanted to give back to volleyball because I was a six-six skinny kid, used my brains a lot, you know. Um, thank Hart because I remember playing in Russia when I was 19 years old, my sophomore year. I was playing defense behind him and an Italian tipped right over Karch, and I did not get that ball. And Karch turned at me, yelled at me, and said, that's your ball. I, I never let another tip drop, because I wasn't gonna let my teammates down, so. But, uh, you know, because of my smarts, I went to Stanford, I was hoping to grow that game in Northern California, even though I grew up in Southern California, we got a part of volleyball was from Santa Barbara to San Diego, all the Olympians from 88 team were there. I was, it was great to be up in Northern California and spread that game up there. And now look at this game, it's you know, a national game that's all through the United States. But I was fortunate enough, Al Monaco and Doug Beal approached me after volleyball is over to work with you and say volleyball on the financial side. Um, it's about giving back, it's about the sport and people who've helped you get to the peak. And I said, yes, I, I will help out. And I've been doing that for 20 years. And we've helped grow a $6 million budget for USA Volleyball to a $30 million budget today. And look at the sport, it's thriving. And, it, and it's been a great one to be part of that. A um, few other people, that, you know, my wife, Jana, and my kids, you know, for the last 20 years have allowed me to help out USA Volleyball. And I want to thank my dad. He was really my first coach who in basketball and still need what hard work, perseverance, and, and just using your smarts and how far that can get you. Um, so it's been a great ride. I'm honored to be part of this. Uh, one last story. You know, growing up in Laguna Beach, I was fortunate enough to be part of the 84 Olympics as a volunteer. Um, I got to sit on the court and I remember sitting in the stands watching the 84 team win that gold medal. And I turned to my friend and said, I want to win one of those. And little did I know, four years later, as a 21-year-old, that I'd be facing the Russians in the fourth set at 14-8, and 
and Eric saw it did a perfect jump serve and the ball would be coming over the net. Four years later, that would be spiking the last point to win a gold medal. It's pretty awesome. Um, but more important was that, I think that's a great moment, obviously, I can claim, but it was standing on that medal stand with uh, some great players and being part of that team, part of one of the best teams ever, by representing our country for this great sport. That was an honor. And I thank all those that allowed me to have the career I've had and love to give back, and it's a great sport. And thank you.